students today we are going to start with a new chapter that is rational numbers and the objectives of this chapter are number 1 addition of rational numbers number 2 subtraction of rational numbers number 3 multiplication of rational numbers number 4 division of rational numbers and number 5 we will learn that how to insert two rational numbers between two given numbers so let's get start with the first two objectives of this chapter so first of all we will talk about the rational numbers so what are rational numbers rational numbers are the numbers which can be written in the form of p upon q where p and q are the integers and q is not equals to 0 so that means Rational numbers are the numbers which can be expressed in any form like this p upon q or a upon b or m upon n, where these p and q, that mean numerator as well as the denominator, are the integers, and the denominator can never be equals to zero. For example, four upon five, because here on the place of p, four is written; on the place of q, five is written. So it is in the form of p upon q. This is called a rational number. Similarly, one upon two, minus three upon four, and two upon nine is the example of rational number. So, similarly, student, we can say that five is also a rational number. Yes, because we can put one in the place of denominator. So, five is also a rational number, right? So, now we will move to the today's topic that is addition. and subtraction of the rational numbers before starting a topic we will quickly recall the integers rule that we have already done in the 5th as well as in the 6th standard so which are these rules first is plus plus sign of plus add the numbers number 2 is minus minus sign of minus add the numbers number 3 is plus minus sign of bigger term subtract the numbers and number 4 is minus plus again sign of bigger term subtract the numbers that mean these both signs or both rules are same plus minus or minus plus will be sign of bigger term subtract the numbers now we will talk about the signs now here you can see that the statement is given as 2 plus bracket plus 3 here we have to solve this right and you can see that before bracket plus sign is there so what will happen if outer sign is plus inner sign will no change so that mean with two here no sign is there that mean you will put plus plus outer sign is plus so in the sign no change that mean plus will remain plus 3 so plus plus sign of plus add the numbers so answer will be plus 5 now next one is plus 5 minus bracket plus 2 so now here you can see that plus 5 will remain plus now outer sign is minus so inner sign will be change so plus will change into minus 2 will remain 2 so now plus minus plus minus will be sign of bigger term subtract the number so plus minus sign of bigger term that will be plus and subtract the number that mean 5 minus 2 will be 3 right so now student we will learn that how can we add or subtract the two given rational numbers as well so let's start with the first example just read the statement add the following rational numbers 2 upon 3 and 1 upon 4 that mean we have to add them so what we will do we will start with the first step by writing here 2 upon 3 and we will replace this and by writing here plus right and means plus because we have to add these rational numbers plus upon 1 upon 4 now here you will have the lcm you know that which step we will follow for uh, solving this sum so because this also we have done in the fifth as well as in the sixth standard so we are just repeating it so now we will have the denominator like 3 and 4 and we will have the lcm of these denominator so in this way you will have the lcm on two table three doesn't come two twos are four again on two table three doesn't come two ones are two on three table three ones are three so now the lcm will be 2 into 2 that is 4 4 into 3 that will be 12 so you will write in the lcm on the place of denominator 12 now 2 will remain 2 multiply box plus will remain plus 1 multiply box now how can you fill this box in on three table 12 comes on 4 so you will write here 4 in the box 
on four table 12 comes on three you so you will write here three in the box so now two fours are eight plus three ones are three so now eight plus three that means plus plus sign of plus add the numbers so you can write here eight plus three that is eleven so if you are not writing here plus that okay because no sign means plus sign so eight plus three eleven upon twelve so here we have learned that when we add the two rational numbers, so the answer will always be as the rational numbers. So next question we will have evaluate. Now uh, the statement has been changed because earlier we have done add the following numbers in which there was and word was there. Now here the statement as evaluate and no and is there directly they have given us plus. So what to do? So we have to straight away take the LCM, right? So I'll take the LCM of the denominators. So here you can see that earlier we have taken the two terms, two rational numbers with both plus signs. Now I have taken these two rational numbers first with the minus sign and another with the plus sign, right? So next we will have the LCM of nine and five, which we will which we can take like this. So LCM will be forty-five. So you will write here forty-five. So we will again follow the same pattern minus 3 multiplied by box plus 2 multiplied by box upon 45. On 9 table 45 comes on 5, on 5 table 45 comes on 9. So minus 3 into 5 that will be 15 plus will remain plus 2 into 9 will be 18. So now plus minus sign of bigger term, subtract the number so you will get here 3 upon 45. Now if the cutting is possible you can cut them. On 3 table 3 comes on 1 and 45 comes on 15. So the answer will be plus 1 upon 15 or simply you can write here 1 upon 15, right? So now move to the next example. Next one is that evaluate minus 6 plus minus 1 upon 4. Now student, you can see that there are two signs all together which cannot be possible. So what we will do, we will start with the sum like this minus 6 upon no uh, number is there so you will put 1, right? So plus and minus, no uh, two sign can't come together. So you will put the bracket with minus 1 upon 4, right? So now minus 6 upon 1 remain as minus uh, 6 upon 1. Now outer sign is plus, inner sign will no change. So you will have minus 1 upon 4. Now again, the same step we will follow. We will have the LCM of 1 and 4. So simply you can have the LCM as 4 or you can take out the LCM. So the answer will be 4. So now here you can see that minus 6 multiplied by box minus 1 multiplied by box upon 4. On 1 table 4 comes on 4 or 4 tables 1 come on 4 comes on 1. Right? Minus 6 into 4 will be minus 24. Minus 1 into 1 will be minus 1. So minus minus will be minus minus sign of minus add the numbers. So minus minus sign of minus. So 24 minus 1 that will be minus minus sign of minus add the numbers. So 24 plus 1 will be 25 upon 4. So the answer will be minus 25 upon 4. All right. So now next move to the next example. So here we will have evaluate 2 upon 4 plus minus 1 upon 3 plus 5 upon 6. So now student, there is one difference that earlier we were taking the examples in which we were having the two rational numbers and we were adding them. Now here we are having more than two, that means three rational numbers. So we have to simplify it or evaluate. So we will follow the same pattern, not to worry about it. So what will happen? So here you can see that again plus and minus. They are all together which is not possible. So what will happen? We will take the bracket with minus one upon three. So outer sign plus inner sign no change. So you will have two upon four minus one upon three plus five upon six. All right. So now what we have to do, we have to take the LCM of these three denominators, that is 4, 3 and 6. You know that how to take the LCM of these three, right? So now we will have the LCM as 12. So you will write here on the place of denominator, you will write here 12. Now 2 multiplied by box minus 1 multiplied by box plus 5 multiplied by box. Now on 4 table, 12 comes on 3. On 3 tables, 12 comes on 4. On 6 table, 12 comes on 2. So now 2 3 is a 6 minus 1 4 is a 4 plus 5 2 is a 10. Now what we have to do here you can see that 6 minus 4 plus 10. So there are three numbers with different sign. So 6 
with 6 no sign is there so which sign you can write here you can write here plus sign right so here as like this you can write here plus sign now here you can see that students which two uh, numbers are with the same sign so here we can see that plus 6 and plus 10 is there so that means we have to add them first so like this you can have the calculation plus 6 plus 10 it will be plus plus sign of plus add the number so you will have plus 16 so you will write here plus 16 minus 4 so plus 16 minus 4 will be plus minus sign of bigger term so break the number so you will have plus 12 so now plus 12 upon 12 so you will cut them on one table 12 table 12 ones are 12 12 ones are 12 so you will have plus 1 for the answer so or simply you can write here 1 as the answer clear so now move to the next examples so now here we are having the sums regarding subtraction of the two rational numbers so now first of all we will talk about first example that is subtract 4 upon 5 from 1 upon 3 so now this concept also we have done in the fifth as well as in sixth standard right so you know this how to solve this question now from means what always when we subtract and from is in between the two numbers so from means second minus first that means we have to subtract second number minus first number so now here you can see that this one will be the first number and this one will be the second number. So you will write here second minus first. So that means 1 upon 3 minus 4 upon 5. Right. So now again you can see the same step we will follow for solving this question as well. So we will have the uh, denominator as 3 and 5 and we will take the LCM of these denominators. That will be equals to 15. Right. So you will write here on the place of denominator 15. 1 multiplied box minus 4 multiplied by box. On 3 table 15 comes on 5 and 5 table 15 comes on 3. So you will have 1 into 5 that will be 5 minus 4 into 3 that will be 12 and upon 15. Right? So now here student you can see that with 5 no sign is there that means plus sign. So plus minus sign of picket term subtract the number. So you will have minus 7 upon 15. So the answer will be minus 7 upon 15. Now move to the next example. Subtract minus 3 upon 9 from 0. Now again this one will be the first rational number and this one will be the second. So from means what? Second minus first. So second number will be 0 minus minus 3 upon 9. Again you can see that minus and minus two signs can never be come together. So you will put a bracket here with minus nine, 3 upon 9. So now here you can see that students with 0 upon uh, nothing is there so you can put 1. So outer sign is minus inner sign will be changed it will change into plus 3 upon 9. So you can have the LCM of 1 and 9 so it is very simple the answer will be always 9. So our, uh, 0 multiplied by box plus 3 multiplied by box. On 1 table 9 comes on 9 and on 9 table 9 comes on 1. 0 into any number 0 into 9 will be 0. Or 0 into any number will be 0 always. Plus will remain plus 3 into 1, 3. So 0 plus 3 will be 3 only. So 3 upon 9. So that means B. Uh, we can have the cutting of 3 and 9. That is 3, 1 the 3, 3, 3 is a 9. So you will have the answer as 1 upon 3. Alright. So now move to the next example. Subtract minus 3 upon 9 minus 4 upon 3. Now student you can see the different of this statement with the other two statement that we have done just now so there was a statement like in which from was there but here they have given us straight away the sign negative that means we have to subtract them now what will happen again we will have the denominators and we will have the LCM of these two denominators so 9 and 3 the LCM will be 9 so in this way we will have the LCM so now minus 3 multiplied by box minus 4 multiplied by box so on 9 table 9 comes on 1, on 3 table 9 comes on 3. So minus 3 into 1 will be minus 3, minus will remain minus 4 into 3 but that will be 12. So minus minus sign of minus add the numbers so it will be 15 minus 15 upon 9. Now again student you can see that we can cut 15 and 9 on one table. So on 3 table we can cut 9, 3, 3 is a 9 and 3, 5 is a 15. Now for them 5 and 3 can't be cut on one common table. So you will have minus 5 upon 3 as the answer. Right? 
So students, today we have discussed about the addition as well as the subtraction of the rational numbers. So I hope all of you are able to do the related worksheet or the related homework that we have sent you in your SNAP homework. But before starting your homework, students, please go through the YouTube links because all these links are very helpful for you all for understanding these type of questions in a better way. Thank you.